Hello America, this is Dr. Philip Dreitz. It's a beautiful day. And I don't know what day it is. Either the 19th or the 20th of September 2012. And when I tell you I don't give a rat's ass what happened to the career of Shirley Huntley. And I want the ass of every black elected official in the 6th Congressional and the oh, It used to be the 6th. The Mexicans kicked out so many black people. New York State lost the district because the black elected officials not doing their job. I just wanted to show the world that I don't give a rat's ass. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to the career, <laughs> to the career of black elected officials. You voting for a black Democrat is the stupidest thing you can do. Now y'all picking on Romney. Everybody is getting a subsidy. You white America cannot reelect Obama because that's the guy that gave away all the money to all the black people that created the housing bubble and almost destroyed the economy and we would have went into a world depression. That was by Barack Obama. I do not give a rat's ass. What happened? What happened? To anything right about now? I am a disabled vet, former Special Forces, Army Airborne Ranger, and I don't give a rat's ass about none of you guys. All you guys that's got money. I'm homeless. I ain't got nothing. I was made up to be that way because of Michael R. Bloomberg. That's a nice Jewish white boy. Wonderful Jewish white boy. That white boy's railroading blacks and Puerto Ricans out of public housing through policy. That makes it fascism. He's busted. And let me show you one more time. I will show you a rat. I will show you a rat. And that's every black elected official in town, including the Yiddish Michael Bloomberg. And I will not give a rat's ass. That is the ass of a rat. I do not give a rat's ass. Why happened to these guys? This is what's been keeping me alive and well and insane. And guess what? Now, this little this Dominican boy, who now, since he has a Hispanic community, Bally Dodo Fitness has employed him to come to Jamaica and to eliminate the black people from jobs out of Bally Total Fitness and employ his Dominican relatives and their Spanish friends from Central and South America. Now America, damn, white people ain't that stupid and they're racist. But since he light skin and it has a little straight, got a little kick in it, but he's got nappy pubic hair. He's got nappy pubic hair, and he's trying to play a white boy. No Nordic in him in any which way or fashion. All right, but he's Dominican, a former colony of Haiti, and he is a preferred subject because so many white slavers raped enough black women and to the house Negroes inbreeding with other light skin then that's a nig right there that's a nig right there that's a nig that's a nig now Dante Medina of Total Valley Total Fitness can you ask Priscilla how successful was she and trying to keep me from helping the black people from being in litigation and ask her, does a dope pushing boyfriend, oops, did I say that? I apologize, I didn't mean to say that. I don't want to reveal that in fact, Priscilla Ortiz, a Valley Total Fitness gym, is like 
you know, she's got having a second child. It's an illegitimate child. And the new boyfriend's another drug dealer. And when you're a foster child, life doesn't get any better than what she's got. And she's about to go into the projects with her boyfriend at Red Hook. And Valley Total Fitness has employed her. And that's her job. That's her absolute job to make sure that she helps them in any way possible and doing what they got to do. I love it. It's a beautiful thing that somebody gives her a chance with the kind of record she got of being with these drug dealers and breeding babies for them out of wedlock. And now she's working for Dante Medina and hustling all the older men in the gym. And all I know is that's okay. It's okay because you never know when she can change. We will help her to change because that's my buddy. That's my friend. I wouldn't say nothing bad about her. And she's trying to reform herself now that she's about to go and get a child. And she's going to Red Hook Project with her dope pusher boyfriend and hopefully they will reform and they will change their lives for the better and that's a beautiful thing. I'm a nice guy and I just want to make sure that I said I don't give a rat's ass about black elected officials in Southeast Queens. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.